The first thing you want to do is remove the battery pack compartment from the back of the toy. Next, cut along the sheath that holds the insides of the battery compartment. Here you will find two green wires. Cut these wires. Now, unscrew the back of the battery pack to get to the bottom of the wires. Here you will see them connected to the circuit board. Use a wire crimping tool to shred the sheath that houses the wires. After you remove the protective sheath, you are left with two copper wires just like this. Next, get your RCA cable and cut off the ends. Also strip the RCA cable to expose the copper wire. Crimp off any unneeded sheathing. Get your push light and open up the back of it. Here you'll find two red wires. Cut both of these wires. Make sure you don't have any batteries in the light. You will need to expose the copper wires on these as well. Take those red wires and twist them with the wires from the RCA cable. After you've completely wrapped the wires together, seal them with electrical tape. This ensures safety. Now, go to the spot on the back of the circuit board and twist the other side of the RCA cable and also tape it as well. Now you can go ahead and test the clicker button to make sure that it's working. Place the clicker back in its housing. Make sure you get all the screws and the springs correctly in place and put the lid back on the push light. Screw it back closed. Place the battery compartment door back in and you can see the wire sit flush there. Now you can go ahead and screw the battery compartment back together. Congratulations, you're almost done. It's time to put the battery pack back inside the toy. You can use the Velcro that's here on this toy or sew up the hole that you made. And that's it. And you can see how easy it is to adapt regular toys to be disability friendly. Do you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to share? Let us know on our Facebook page or visit us at cpfamilynetwork.org.